In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the mechanical advantage for the inclined plane. The mechanical advantage for the inclined plane is calculated by dividing the length of the inclined plane by the height that it has to overcome. We can see that in the equation below. A cart full of firewood weighs 500 pounds. The cart must be lifted 5 feet and travels along a ramp or inclined plane that is 10 feet long. We need to calculate what is the mechanical advantage of the system, and we need to calculate how much effort must be applied to pull the cart up the ramp. To begin with, we need to diagram this problem. We're going to start by drawing a ramp. We know that there is a load of firewood that has to be pulled up the ramp with our effort. We know that the load weighs 500 pounds. We know that the ramp has to overcome a five foot vertical climb and that the ramp is 10 feet long. We're going to apply these variables to the equation for mechanical advantage of the inclined plane. In this case, mechanical advantage for the inclined plane is the 10 feet length of the inclined plane divided by the 5 foot vertical that it has to overcome. The feet will cancel out and we're left with a mechanical advantage of 2. We then have to solve for effort. Effort equals the load divided by the mechanical advantage. The load in this problem is 500 pounds. The mechanical advantage which we just calculated is 2 and therefore the effort that we have to apply is 250 pounds to pull this cart up the ramp. What if we were to change the length of the ramp? Now the ramp is 20 feet long. How does this change the mechanical advantage and how does it change how much effort we have to apply to pull the cart up the ramp? We're going to apply these new variables in the same equations. Again, the calculation for mechanical advantage for the inclined plane is the length of the inclined plane divided by the height. In this case, the length of the inclined plane is 20 feet. The height that we have to overcome is still 5 feet. Feet divided by feet canceled out, and therefore we're left with a mechanical advantage of 4. We still need to apply this um, mechanical advantage to our effort equation. Our load is still 500 pounds, and the mechanical advantage we just calculated is 4. Therefore, the effort to move this cart up the ramp is 125 pounds. So by lengthening the ramp on an inclined plane, we increase the mechanical advantage and reduce the amount of effort that you need to apply.